I pray the Lord will anoint and bless this word to people who watch it. Amen. To all of you who are subscribed also. Yeah. Amen. So Jesus Christ taught, do not be deceived. Many shall come in my name, saying I am Christ, and shall deceive many. Okay. Take heed that no man deceive you. This is Matthew 24, verse 4. Verse 5 says, For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. So we have to be not deceived. It's a time of deception. When you're in the end times, which people, by and large, in Christendom believers now, end times, there is much deception. So we need to be careful of the deception. Amen. We need to pray. Lord, guide our minds. Amen. And what I want to show as well, I think the Lord is on this. He wants me to show how what you see, the order of events, how it clearly ties in with Amos. Um, and Matthew 24 and Revelation 6, time with each other. So you shall hear of, Lord, I just pray and guide me, guide my words, guide my steps, Father. I pray also anything you want me to learn from anyone else and put out. I pray that that will happen. Just your will, your words only. I pray you'll touch my lips, anoint my lips. I only want your word. And also your love and comfort to go out to others, Lord. Your, whatever you want. And, and, and for protection from deception, whatever you want in Jesus' name. Lord, may it be your words, Father. I pray you'll deliver me from myself. Hallelujah. Right. For nations shall rise against nation and kingdom against... Sorry. For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in various places, well, diverse places. The modern translation says various places. The uh, King James is diverse places. So that means, if it's in various, like diverse, as in, as in diversity of places, what I believe the Lord, Holy Spirit put on my heart is, we can expect um, there's going to be Nation rise against nation, kingdom against kingdom, famines, pestilences, earthquakes in various places, um, the wars and the rumours of wars, where we are, wherever we live, okay? All these are the beginning of sorrows. That's just the beginning. Amen. Then, then, shall they deliver you up to be afflicted and shall kill you. Now, what you'll see is this is cross ref so you, okay so when you look at revelation 6 you'll see the same signs same things as it were same tribulations going on okay amen people um and what i noticed when i got this king james recently is it says they will then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted so i was checking it's still recording sorry i look i thought like it might not be then sorry they shall deliver you up to be afflicted and she'll kill you. Now, what's interesting, I used to think that was all one thing. In other words, the affliction was to be killed. Now, what occurred to me when I, I always thought, so this is where it's good to read different versions and check out, you know, study by looking at different versions. Because the NIV has taught me some things that is more clear in the NIV, but the King James has taught me some things that's more clear in the King James. Afflicted and shall kill you. Whereas I think the NIV says, deliver you up to be killed or something. I mean, I'll have to, sorry if I'm getting this wrong, people, but. Think, I don't think it was clear, okay, in the same way, that you'll be afflicted and killed, okay, people. Um, amen. I am going to upload this and we shall return to this, amen. <laughs> 